Hepatocyte is a highly metabolically active cell. Storage of pathological material is therefore a common feature for many liver diseases. Hepatocyte can store miscellaneous substances such as fat, bile, iron, glycogen or various proteins. The reason can be an increased supply of the material, blockage of its drainage or damage to the cell itself leading to a cell dystrophy. Deposition of a small amount of any substance is a nonspecific finding accompanying various diseases. On the other hand, larger deposits of any material affecting a big portion of the liver may point towards a specific disease. And in this video, we'll discuss storage of bile, which is called cholestasis. Cholestasis is caused by impaired bile formation or blockage of bile flow that gives rise to accumulation of bile pigment in the hepatic parenchyma. Bile is apparent as a green-brown pigment in the cytoplasm of hepatocytes or as plaques in dilated bile canaliculi. In an acute phase, the stagnant bile is localized predominantly in the central lobular region of the liver lobule. This finding is not entirely specific for disorders of the biliary tree, since it may be caused not only by blockage of the bile drainage, but also by damage of the hepatocyte metabolism. Acute cholestasis may therefore accompany various diseases, especially drug-induced liver damage or sepsis. On the other hand, chronic cholestasis usually develops as a result of long-term blockage of the bile drainage. The blockage may develop at the level of intrahepatic biliary tree, extrahepatic biliary tree, or both. The most common causes of chronic cholestasis are caldocolitiasis, compression of caldocol duct by a pancreatic tumor, or primary disorders of the biliary tree, such as biliary atresia, primary sclerosing cholangitis, or primary biliary cholangitis. In a chronic phase, bile is not always visible in microscopy, and sometimes we only see secondary changes caused by the toxic effect of stagnant bile. Those changes manifest as pale and swollen hepatocytes in periportal zone, often containing Mallory's hyaline or Mallory dank bodies. This amorphous eosinophilic material in the cytoplasm of hepatocytes is in fact a clump of damaged intermedial filaments. Portal tracts are edematous and there is usually a ductual reaction. The architecture of liver lobule is impaired and hepatocytes start to form tubular structures which are called cholestatic rosettes. Although it's important to stress that these changes represent a general picture of chronic obstructive cholestasis, but they are not specific for a particular disease. At the histopathological level, we cannot fully differentiate individual causes of bile blockage. However, in some diseases, we can also see additional supportive microscopical changes, which can lead us to a specific diagnosis. And this is especially true for diseases that affect not only extrahepatic, but also intrahepatic biliary tree, such as primary biliary cholangitis. Finally, we need to stress that cholestasis is also a common feature of various congenital metabolic disorders which are characterized by impaired bile synthesis or intracellular transport. However, this topic goes beyond the scope of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below and stay tuned for more pathology videos.